<laughs> so I had a C-section by choice. This is where everybody judges me. Because uh, when a woman has a C-section by choice, people think it's because she's a horrible, vain, and selfish person and that she's only doing it because uh, she doesn't want to go through the worst pain of her life or doesn't want to rip and tear her vagina front to back or that she doesn't want to take a giant crap over the delivery room floor. <laughs> and. For me, it was not one of those things. Uh, it was all of those things. <laughs> Very much. Yeah. The C saves the V. That's what we say at our house. That's what we do. Also, C-section, safer for the baby. Or more dangerous. I did not look it up, honestly. I don't care. <laughs> A girlfriend of mine suggested I have a home birth. Uh, we all have a friend that wears too much hemp, right? Yes. I was like, a home birth? Oh my God, no. I don't even bake at home, it's too messy. Are you kidding me? <laughs> How do you even get placenta out of the couch? I have no idea. <laughs> but uh, she had a home birth because uh, she's a better person. Uh, <laughs> This is what it looked like. They're in a small uh, downtown condo, carpeted. They've got a kiddie pool blown up with uh, warm water and the lights dimmed, candles lit and uh, wafting the scent of superiority. <laughs> Sarah McLaughlin singing in the background. Yeah, like the real person, they're very wealthy. Uh, so. She's there, husband, mother, mother-in-law, uh, midwife, doula, a host of other unlicensed healthcare providers. Uh, one terrified cat in the corner. And then Sarah McLaughlin's crying because the cat's in distress. It was, it was a big deal. 